What's up, I'm Aiden. You are watching my barn conversion vlog. On this episode, we're going to film the bricklayers, the block works going up, scaffolds gone up as well. We're going to pull the extension out. Can't remember what I've said, what I haven't said, or anything for this episode because I'm recording too. The foundation's just gone in for the extension. You see that I put the rebar drilled in about 200 mil into the original footings. I say original footings, the footings that have already been poured. Kemi fixed them in. That apparently supports the foundation so it doesn't wobble about. This has obviously got redone at the front, but. What I've now done is I've strung a line off the top. So now we can see where the wall plate sits on this side. The architect, he drew it 
he got a little angle measurer that was like a bit rubbishy. He'd done it off the original rafters. He come out with like 21 or 22 degrees or something like that. But um, so obviously that's a steeper pitch. But when I actually measured the original rafters properly, they was 19.25. So that means this kicks out a little bit more, which obviously hires that. We're trying to work out things with the bricklayers, where the doors sit, so it finishes well with the brick brickwork and everything. The windows, I think they were supposed to be like 9, 29.50, but that doesn't sit right with the brickwork. So we're gonna go 11.10, which gives us another issue. So from this pier to the other pier, we're centralizing the window because we've gone a little bit wider on the window, this reveal from this to here is about 550 which means that the wall for this bedroom and the bathroom will go literally where this brick is and then that's where that's been put so this needs to be moved over to this side lucky enough there's enough room in in the lintel just underneath so what i'm going to do lift this block swap it with that one cut a hole there it's all sorted So the extensions in and the block works in trench blocks we've got um service holes whatever you call them there's the lintels over the top so that's where the drainage is going out now over this side i was going to have a ground source heat pump but i think it's going to be too much money and we haven't got enough so to save a little bit of money we're going to go air source heat pump it's going to go around that corner there so the pipe work's going to need to come through here now just from a little bit of research you need a flow and return i'm going to drill a couple of 110 mil holes with my core drill core diamond drill and go through there This one is now deaded. Lucky enough, I've got a brand new one. Thanks, Colin. longer than it should have done that whole car is well worn we've used it so many times you can't really 
jam in dry you need to wet it every now and then so it needs to be really moist treat you like a lady check it out looks familiar doesn't it i'm glad i stuck with these piers i think it will make it look nice so i'm getting quotes off window companies at the moment and they're doing it off the plans even though i know how big these windows and doors are going to be on this side now but i'm just letting them do what they're doing uh, i need to obviously just what I need according to the sap calculation uh, I didn't have a sap calculation beforehand for the conversion now it's a new build I do need one and uh, I'm just waiting for that I had to chase it today but I've got my head around it this has to stay I don't like it but it's just one of them things we're gonna need to weld on an additional plate out here to take the window so we're just gonna have that big beam inside I think I'll leave it there if you haven't done so already please do subscribe give us a thumbs up hit the bell notification thanks for watching i'll see you later oh actually we should be saying eh? treat it like a neutrally non-gender specific person <laughs>